Every time I see you, it looks like I've just put you on it. It's like. Well, I get it. <laughs> Thank you.
Everton's a Toffee TV, it's the gladdest reaction. Everton won, Burnley nil. Everton have finally won a game. Finally won a game, and it's Burnley, oddly enough. The uh, the bookend is complete. The last game we won was Burnley in the Premier League, and we've beaten them again. Um, very, very nervous day at Goodison Park. Uh, the first half performance wasn't great. The midfield obviously looked was decimated with, with no Onana and no Adrissa Garner Gay playing today. Um, and Burnley got comfortable into the game. That was one of the issues that the, we started with all right, but we just couldn't keep the ball. And then we got that stroke of luck we've been, we've been needing, which is their goalkeeper trying to be too clever. And Dom just walked onto it and it's gone in the back of the net just before half time. And I think coming out the second half being one nil up just gave us something to fight for, didn't it? We just had something to fight for and we fought for it. And we played on the counter attack, which again makes it a little bit nervous because we just know how how, how we've been conceding goals recently. But Burnley, Burnley really didn't do anything, didn't really test um Jordan Pickford at all during the whole game really he didn't have to make I don't really remember him having to make one save really um, to be honest a lot of crosses in there a little bit of build up play but not much we should have really won the game more comfortable Dominic Armaloon's had has, has done really really well created the chance and the keeper saved it with his legs he's had one later on where he's took himself a little bit wide I thought Dom had a really good game today you could see the confidence once he got a, that goal once he got his goal I thought he was going to go on and get more uh, unfortunately he didn't he was taken off I thought that was a bit of a strange move because I think one thing Don does do is he gives you an out ball I don't think Beto always does give you that out ball but Beto had an opportunity he had a couple of half opportunities one being where he was brought down just, just outside the box I thought it was in the box at the time where, which, where nothing was given which was incredible of course they were already down to 10 men it was a little bit like Brighton where we allowed them to dominate the ball which is, which is what happens for any team against Everton because we're just not good enough on the ball but everyone put in a shift, can't really, you know, James Garner's put a really good shift in today. Uh, Dwight McNeil, without actually doing anything creative, has put a shift in today, and most players did. Can't really punch anyone saying he played played poorly in terms of work rate. Yes, it, it's a great to watch now, but we know that we're not a, we're not a particularly good side. We've got the win. Um, it's tempered slightly by Luton getting a win as well today, which if they hadn't won, would have made it a really good day. But we're back to winning ways. We know what it feels like to win at home. And obviously with the games coming up at Goodison Park, they are all winnable games. And now that, that that's gone, that we have won a game, that Dom's back scoring, it gives us um, a, it gives us a big opportunity now. Of course, next week, points deduction, maybe, probably, um, could see us lose a couple of points and, and drop down a little bit. Um, you know, but listen, we're back in the hunt, we're back winning, we're back to winning, and um, everyone just enjoy. The rest of your week, that's all you can really say now, isn't it? There you go, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my play ratings and Baz's videos. I'll see you all later.